Welcome to JFC Studios. What's up? It's me, JFC Studios, here, and um, I am here with a couple of guests. One of which is Bill Ben Bulka Productions. Hi. And then, as you probably remember, or likely don't care, of the previous guest from the previous DDLC stream, we have Neko. And, uh, yeah, we're here today for the review of Cheese Grater. Anyways, yeah, onto this Cheese Grater, so... Oh, I got out of this box! Shh, you're supposed to be asleep. Anyways, so yeah, we got a player of Spencer. <laughs> Alright, so we got... <laughs> Yeah, we got a Flare of Spencer. Looks pretty good in package. So, of course, it's all the same with the Tommy Flare packets. You already know. Even if y'all would likely not care, but hello. Oh well. We got Takara Tomi, Play Rail. Nice Japanese text there. We got some sort of like a periwinkle type color. A somewhat grayish blue periwinkle. Yeah. As the ring around. For, to represent Spencer's color. TS-10. Spencer is the 10th model in the Tony Play Roller range. Of course, I can see how Douglas was in the 10th model, but okay, that works too. But, um, yeah, 10th model in the series. Spencer the Grand, or Spencer the Silver A4, however you would like to determine it, even though he's not a... Like Horrible looking A4. Seriously, that paint job annoys me. <laughs> Alright, so then yeah. Also, there's another thing I'm gonna point out later. There's nothing about that Spencer I'll point out later. Alright, so then we got this nice little logo. Don't know that's more, probably like a certified Thomas product or something. Probably. Of course, we got the three and up. That's a little mumbo jumbo down here. Thomas being all pretty in the corner, and of course, nice promo image of Spencer, right there. We got the logo. And yeah, about that complaint of when Spencer actually gets out of there, it'll have to do with that image of him on the box. Trust me, I'll, I'll, I'll show you, I'll talk about it later when he actually gets out of the box. I want to punch you Alright. So. Moving on to the top of the box, of course, Takara, or something up here, Tomi, Play Rail, Takara Tomi, and on the side, on this yellow, TS-10, Spencer the Silver A4, Spencer the Grand, whatever you want to call it, or whatever this says here. I know a part of it says Spencer. And of course, we got the name and also character bio, probably a form of a character gallery thing. Nice little image of Spencer, Thomas and Friends, logo. Looking good. On the side of the box, as y'all could see, we got a promo image of Spencer, of course. Promo image, play rail. Same thing as it all goes. On the other side of the box, right over here, we got another promo image of the model itself. Right here. And of course, the told me blah, blah 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 blah. Same thing as always. On the bottom. Same same jazz and whatnot. Nice promo image of the model again. This time fully pulled out in the frame. TS10. Spencer something something. Mumbo Jumbo down here. I don't forgot to mention this, or maybe I did mention it, I don't know, but I don't, I don't really care. Um, I'm kind of full seven. I know it says on the box the track isn't included, but... Could you maybe include some track? I mean, back in the day, like, you used to have two packs that included track. Seriously, Google. 
there, there were, back in the day, you used to do two packs that had track with them. You, you couldn't just pack them in here. Uh, I don't know. If some kid doesn't read that little warning, track is not included, they're gonna be very disappointed. Of course, as they would likely say down here. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Neko. I right. the so, yeah. of course we got an image of Spencer right there and some mumbo jumbo as long as the link to the website. I'm pretty dope. And on the back. Now, what's the actual state for the website? I'm gonna Google it real quick. Of course, yeah. So then we got we go to the back of the box. Of course, we have the instructions and how to get them to play. And screw them. Flat type drive unit. I haven't seen one of the exposed one in years. Like legit, I haven't seen one of those in years. We we'll set it back in the tab. On off switch. Yada yada yada. Blah 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 blah. Panner panner panner. And then um, yeah. A lot of mumbo jumbo. Here's the right over here. If you're wondering what this little gunk over here is, it was just what's left of the tag thing, where of course it's stamped on the press. And uh, yeah, a lot of mumbo jumbo. And of course, as known throughout basically all the para models that y'all have likely seen, on these there's a yellow tab that you pull out, there you go, yellow tab that you pull out to hang this on pegs and stores, as per usual. So, um, yeah, put that back, and um, let's crack this thing open, we're gonna do it fast. sped up portion is done. Let me talk about what I wanted to talk about. See on that motor right there, let me see the front. Let me just see the front there. It has brown buffers, but for some reason, on the box, he has silver buffers. Is someone blind or something? Cause how'd you mess up that bad? Then again, this model was made way back in the day, and back, and back then Spencer had like copper buffers. In the model era, Spencer had copper buffers for some reason, so, um, yeah, that's likely the easy reason. And there's another thing Joel wants to, well, JFC Studios wants to talk about, uh, go ahead, something revolving the paint and the wheel. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a slight paint chip at the wheel, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I'm gonna just use a screwdriver here as a pointer, right? There, if, if you guys could see that, or if you'd even care, let me just zoom into that. I mean, I mean, thank God at least it ain't on the nose. Oh, uh, if it was on the nose, that'd be extra infuriating if it was on the nose. Spencer, the black nosed engine, I think I'm gonna get cancelled for that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that joke kinda sounds. Can't Bad. Say that word. Okay. Can't say that word because I'll also get to cancel. Well, not necessarily a factory error, more just like a tiny little defect. But um, yeah, there's a little tiny no pink chip on do, the wheel. Even in, even in fresh in box, no matter what you do, you but can't find the perfect Spencer. You just can't find a purple. Ink. Purple. 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 Spencer. Oh, no, no. Purple. Oh, no. Perfect. Spencer. Okay. Perfect. Spencer. Yeah, he looks pretty good. And also, there's a slight nitpick. The slight nitpick that I have. The middle wheel is a slightly different color compared to the rest of his body. That's a pet peeve. That's a pet peeve. And it's low key minorly infuriating. You guys can see, or if you guys even care, again, zoom in. I don't think they can tell, considering the light you keep using. 
never really shows off the good side of the colors. I'm pretty sure it's kind of noticeable. It looks a little more... It looks slightly darker than the rest. But, um... Kinda. Oh, it could show a photo, maybe? Like, and kind of showing, like, a photo of the wheels? Like, showing it? I don't know. Just thought that would help. Alrighty then. Okay. So, now, with the nitpicks out of the way and stuff, let's get on to his actual sculpting in detail. So, his face really, is nice. that pain is annoying! I'm sorry, it looks like he's covered in snow! Wait a minute, the chassis feels a tad loose, so me just... Tighten that up a little bit. Oh boy, you better know than screwing it. Oh yeah, sorry to give it away, audience, he was screwing with it yesterday. He was screwing with it. He decided to open up Spencer yesterday off camera. Don't worry, so I didn't go too far with it. Tampered with. What? Not just... really tampered with, I just moved around the switch a little bit and just moved his wheels along. That's basically it. Nothing too bad. Didn't even take him out of the packet. Yeah, it just comes out of there. It's tender. Okay. Now, let's get on to the model himself. The painting and sculpting on this thing is pretty good. Of course, we got... 262. 262! Two, two. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> anyways, sorry about that. But, um, this right here... Yeah, of course, these are his front wheels. They're nicely molded. They could have molded this on the other side. Oh, well, minor nitpick. Another minor nitpick. With the sculpting. Of course, we got the nice whistle. Right there in front of his... Funnel. <laughs> sorry about that. Lost... Lost the train of thought. Train of thought. Huh? Train of thought. Okay, I'll stop. So yeah, face looks pretty good. Lamp irons look nice. Painted white. Very nice. We got cab roof looking good. Got that bit of that widow's peak there. Okay, so basically, um, with that I don't know. Of course, the inside of the cab, it's nice, I guess. It's just a big empty space, it's a blank space. Don't worry! Paint and cover that. So, um. Oh, yeah. no. Basically, I'm just gonna paint in this negative space in black. And, of course, the handrail is silver. Of course, the wheels are What else could I do? He has a very nice and shiny Spencer nameplate decal. It's actually kind of shiny. I actually like that. Nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His paint says why does smell okay, sorry about that bad reference. Anyways, moving on. So one thing that sets Spencer apart from all the others is that he actually has grey side rods for some reason. Of course. Is Spencer, of course, next to Thomas. He has white, white side rods. And then we got Edward, which he was the most recent unboxing until Spencer. White side rods, of course. Spencer is definitely one of those few models that has the more, one of the more unique types of side rods. Other than the current day Playmail Gordon, it's still grey, it's still white, but I have this little molded bit, which of course looks nice as always. Of course. And yeah, if you wonder what I do to all my models, yeah, I customize them to be like actors to the show and whatnot. Even with all those extra little details. So, um, yeah, moving Spencer back into frame. Uh, yeah. So, Bill Ben Benvolka Productions, Neko, is there anything else to say about Spencer before we move on to his tender? <laughs> yeah, Gordon says he hates Spencer. Good for him. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
Yeah, that's basically it for Spencer. Looks good, feels good. Yeah, Firebox looking good as well. Yeah. <laughs> and Gordon's just be like, he looks terrible. He's not silver. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, and there's also a Tales of Beatbox. So, um, yeah, now moving on to Spencer's main body. On to the tender, of course. It's tender looking nice. Nicely sculpted. We got the coal load looking nice as always. Satisfying the scratch, kinda. We got the water bottle cap. This is basically a corridor tender, as you can see. There's a hair on this tender. Hmm. Okay. So. So yeah, Spencer's Tender is what's called a Corridor Tender. So a Corridor Tender, basically, whenever Spencer's crew goes on long journeys with, of course, Spencer and the passenger trains and whatnot, if they want to go from the engine, if they want to go from the engine to the coach, and back, of course, they walk through the corridor. Of course, they walk around the tank, they walk around the coal, and they get in by the tender. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. It's a nice little realistic detail. Again, he has copper buffers. Just, his tender has the copper buffers, just like the front. I'll likely turn those silver afterwards. Just for our design unity and whatnot. So, he has black wheels, even though in, even though in the show, his tender was. The wheels on the tender were white, but didn't want it to look too strange, so they just kept it like this. So, um, and also it would look a tad unfinished, so, yeah. I did everyone is the because I don't know Speaking of Edward, yeah. His tender is also a unique mold compared to the others. Sorry to go on a tangent about Edward. I still love this model to this day. I still love this model. Anyway, moving on. Back to Spencer. Back to, back to Spencer's tender. Yes, Tails, the audience heard you. Unless if they didn't even make it this far. But even so, they wouldn't even get Anyways, moving on. We got... Coupler's nice. Just a little bit up front here. Whatever these are on the side. Probably little cap walls. Nice, 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 nice. Um, yeah. There's a nice curve at the back as well. And, uh, yeah. That's basically it. Okay, let me see the dates on Spencer. Let me see. What does it say? 2004! This thing is a year younger than me. This thing is 17 years old. <laughs> 17 years old. A 17 year old mold. That is funny. How is Tony and Player L still keep pulling out Spencers? I don't know. That is funny though. It might be enough funny. And of course, we connect up to Spencer with his tender. Oh yeah. That looks good. So, um, yeah. Spencer here, he was one of my childhood models, I've had him when I was a kid, and um, I lost the tender of course because it was detachable and I just had the front, but then likely after a while, either because it was lost in time or my mom sold him in a yard sale, yeah, I never had him since, but because now of course, got him back. So yeah, Spencer here looks really good. Now, moving on to his coach. Here it is, Spencer's coach. It looks really good. Of course, you got the four nubs on top. Got the four nubs. Nice painted gray. This feels very smooth. In fact, the whole model. The whole model feels mm, silk smooth. Yeah, this whole model feels nice and smooth. We got whatever this likely is at the top, as well as the air intakes. Why do coaches need air intakes? Are they somewhat aerodynamic? Oh well, I'm asking too much. 
the coach, the, the coach has silver buffers. Of course, that is pretty nice. And has a kind of pinkish stripe going across. Looks nice. With nice molded doors and the handles and whatnot. Looks good. And of course, it's a bogey coach. Seeing, of course, so mold the details on the black. Looks pretty darn good. So me, man, Thailand. And looking under this thing for dates. Nope. No dates. Okay. And also the coat is curved at the front and back to match Spencer. Which for some reason kind of bugged me. Because I'm just like, why are these coaches curved in the front and back? I don't know, probably to help them stand out. So, yeah, this is a pretty nice coach. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty nice coach. <laughs> there is a common thing though amongst these coaches that I have really... It's more of a nitpick more than anything, but um, the way the couplings are done... Basically, as you can see, the couplings are definitely short. The front couplings are definitely short. <laughs> like, definitely, like, they're not too far stuck out. I mean, sure, it's nice and all, but it just looks kind of weird. Just seeing it just kind of peek out like, hello! And, um, yeah. That's basically it for Spencer and his coach. <sighs> So yeah, I guess that basically concludes it for Spencer. Now, let's see how he runs with the battery. Uh, where's the screwdriver? There it is. Okay. Let's see how he runs. Hmm. Open it up. Ooh. Huh. This feels pretty heavy. This feels surprisingly heavy. You could throw this at someone and get away with it. No, I'm just kidding. I would. I would. I do not condone violence. I'm just saying that as a joke. <laughs> For all legal reasons, that was a joke. So um, yeah. Here we go. The flat type drive unit looking nice as always. And of course. You got a ba You got a battery in there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that is a nice sound. And it runs pretty smoothly. Yeah, that is a nice sound. Okay, let's just see how you basically run for a little bit, for a couple seconds. Of course, you're not getting a proper test run yet until the video. Until the test run that would occur after this video, so. Let's see. Woo! Nice. Oh yeah. Looking good. So yeah, he runs pretty good. Feels good. Looks good. And uh, yeah, he runs nice. Feels very nice. Oh yeah. Very nice. Let me check one of the other batteries. Because... The battery that I just put in there, it was used for a little while. Okay, let's see this one. This one is fresh. This one's basically fresh. <sighs> Very nice. Oh yeah. Okay. That is very nice. That is very nice. Okay, let me just... Oh, let me put the battery in him. Just, so, just for the cutaway, just for the, you know, the final cut. So it can be better transitioned, like how I've done with Edward and the others. Let me cut the thing back on. Of course, close this thing back up. Connect him with the tender. So that's basically it for Spencer, and of course the unboxing and review. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. I had quite a bit of this. I had, 
If it wasn't for the paint chip on his wheel, I wouldn't have had too much more to say. Even though, yeah, I definitely had quite a bit to say, including the little tangents about the corridor tenders and, and how they function. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Alright. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing video. Like, comment, and subscribe to see more. I'm JFC Studios. And also comment down with your favorite uh channel and comment system. I might Favorite character or favorite model you said? Favorite character or model, whichever one. Okay. So yeah, leave a comment. Okay, do this for Neko at least, like put a comment down below saying like uh, who's your favorite character and whatnot. So um yeah, that's basically it for this unboxing and review. I'm JFC Studios. I'm Bill Bobo Productions, and I just came back with Hot Pockets. I guess I missed the rest of the review. <laughs> yep. Okay. What did you say on this Yeah, the audience was getting tired of my dumbass voice anyway. <laughs> no, they're fine, they're fine. They'll be fine, that's right? Gonna... Right, you guys will be fine? <laughs> yeah, they'll be fine. Gonna... Okay. <laughs> now, moving on. But yeah. And, and also, there there was a few Fox, and, of course... Echo? Ah! 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 Okay. And then, yeah. Oh, I'm buying some reason! Why did I eat it? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we are Remember, I am watching such a... <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Alright, bye. Uh -huh.